a Mesa musical landmark. Buck Owens bought his guitar in here from my dad across the street many years ago. We've got all this and more, so sit down. Arizona Highway starts now. The Arizona desert. Unforgiving. Desolate. A harsh land where water is scarce and the heat intense. Oh, no, no, cut, cut, cut. This is totally wrong. This is Hollywood's version of Arizona. My experience out here in the Wild West is totally different. You want to see it? Check out my Arizona. My Arizona is bursting with color. And every season is chock full of action. It's an adventure in the arts. And it's a delicious taste of the Southwest. So, are you ready to see my Arizona? All sorts of colors. All kinds of sounds. And evidence of rock star fame. Step inside Mesa's music mecca. Hi, I'm Frank. Welcome to Milano Music in downtown Mesa. Every kind of instrument put in the hands of youngsters, generation after generation. My dad and mom started the store here in Mesa in 1946, right after the war, um, not too far from here uh, on South McDonald Street. It was an accordion studio. One thing grew after another, and then in 1950, about, they moved across the street at 45 West Main, and uh, just kept growing and growing and growing. It's grown to where we've got probably over 100,000 kids have rented their instruments all over the state, starting out in, the, in, band, in violins, saxophones, what have you. Through the years, this place has not only introduced kids to music, it has even been a breeding ground for some pretty famous musicians. My nephew is in Jimmy Eat World, Tommy Linton, and they're doing very well right now. They were from Mesa too, so they've been in and out of the store most all their life. And Tommy used to clean spit out of trumpets in a basement. And that's how we got him going on it. <laughs> Milano Music Center remains a tight family business, with Frank's sister behind one impressive collection. She has probably the largest printed music selection in the state, one of the largest anyway. My brother-in-law has the acoustical pianos across the street, but here we have all the digital pianos, any of the keyboards, electric guitars, amps drums. Turns out, even people who aren't looking to buy come in just to see this Mesa landmark. There was just this guy in from London and his little daughter or whatever, and it's, I, I think it's just a word of mouth, and I'd like to think that I would think it's in the 90% of, of our businesses word of mouth. And in a world of corporate big box stores, Frank knows places like this today are rare. I know my dad and mom, you know, put a lot of work into it and everything like that, and I've seen, seen a lot of things change. In the 50s, matter of fact, 1952, the accordion was the number one instrument. Then it was 1961 or two, Be Beatles and Beach Boys, it seemed like. Uh, all of a sudden, the guitar took off. For Frank and his family, there is one thing that remains the same. Our focus is service. We all have to have a niche, and it's service. It's just incredible, the amount of people that come in here and everything. And like I say, there's no shortage of kids raise their hand in the schools uh, that, that want to learn to play something. And I appreciate the, the teachers and everybody out there that are trying to get kids started in music, because if they don't get them started on something, there won't be any music someday. A mission to keep the music playing, not just in Mesa, but across Arizona, and for years to come.